How's it going, everybody? This is Matt Hubble. I'm back with another video, and this month we're tackling some dancing robots. So, the initial prompt was um, two made monster guys dressed, I guess, in robot form and have them dancing. So, uh, initially, I thought, cool, let's do like some giant um, speakers behind them and Try to make it like a comic book style. Um, I did another cover. It was actually the first one I did for 99 Lives, and it was called Tilt. And that one, we kind of went with that sort of heavy black ink look as well. So this is kind of just another um, way to keep consistency and kind of, you know, keep that whole thing going. And I think it looks great. And doing this sort of comic book style is a lot of fun. Um, it can take a long time for me, um, especially with things like uh, like industrial inorganic shapes, right? So uh, what I did initially was I started out with just a quick 3D scene, grabbed a couple of characters, posed them out, and put in a couple of primitives for the speakers. And then all I'm doing here really quickly is just going through and spotting in some really big black shadows and then adding some um, shading and rendering to kind of complement that. I put a big arrow in also just so that I remembered where my light source was coming from. I feel like sometimes when I'm doing ink, um, you know, lighting can get a little tricky and I don't want to know, like, you know, it's hard to see where my light is coming from. So, you know, if you're having a hard time with that, always it's a good idea just to throw in a, throw in a little uh, drawing like that. You can always erase it later. So, each monster, I guess each uh, each robot I thought would be cool if they had almost like, you know, they have these white masks and if they had that design kind of like painted on like this robot head, I thought that would be really cool instead of it actually being like built into the head. So you'll see I'm leaving them kind of giving them these dome shaped um, like metal heads and then later I'm going to put on like this sort of face paint. So the cool thing about doing art like this is you're just concerned with getting that black and white value to read. You don't have to worry about color at the same time. That can be super tricky. And if you can get something to read when it's just black and white, it's gonna look great when it's colored too. And you can pretty much use any color you want. Um, I go pretty wild with the colors on this one and it still totally reads well just because all the values are completely in check. So you'll notice here too, I'm also doing like a big, big block in of color, right? Like big, huge swaths of black first before I go in and add the little detailing bits and stuff. And those little bits of detail really help to sell the form. So I kind of do them almost like a contour shape, you know? So like if something's round, it's gonna have shading that curves with the object, and that really will sell the, the actual three-dimensional shape of it. So this section right here, I sped up like, I don't even know, 400% because this took me forever. Because I got in there, like this image I think is 6,000 pixels wide, so I was like really in there noodling stuff. And you kind of have to when you get into these tiny little, um, these tiny little ink lines, so. All right, so here comes the face paint, the initial pass on that. And then I just turned them off for a little bit so that I could drop in the big speakers. And then I just duplicated that speaker and flipped it for the other side. And then the color here, I just it just like appeared, right? Well, it's all it is is some flat layers and then I'll separate it out. And then I'm just gonna go through each of those flat layers alpha lock it real quick and then kind of put in a little bit of grunge and a little bit of variation and you know it already reads really well so then on top of that I add like a screen layer and just throw in a little bit of highlight to kind of sell the metallic texture and I want these guys to feel like used and kind of uh, grungy they're not like shiny robots think like I don't know if you guys ever shot saw the movie Chappie but um art design and stuff and that was really awesome. 
was kind of thinking along those lines, these big boxy mechanical shaped robots. So, and then, you know, you got some extra little wires and stuff hanging off of them. Just trying to make them feel like industrial and not like, you know, fancy high robot type of robots. So I wanted the floor to be illuminated just as a way to add an extra dimension there. And then for the speakers, they were kind of too black and they were messing with the silhouette of the, uh, the robots. So just kind of knock them back a little bit. And then the very final step here is just kind of throwing down some loose paint and getting it kind of to blend all together. And then after this, I got a little bit of like, kind of like a warp thing. I wanted the, the speakers to have like a little bit of a a sound wave like warping through the image and then of course like what are robots without chromatic aberration and like glitchy effects so that's how we topped it off and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this quick little video and thanks for watching